Big data means big business. Companies are using information to target you in ways you never thought possible. Even influencing which candidate you are likely to vote for. Here's Joe Tui with a special IT edition of The Big Idea. As nearly everything in our life transitions from the real to the digital world, the more all that stuff can and is being tracked, every like, swipe, tweet, and post, a piece of that digital data puzzle that makes up our online life. But with that massive amount of information, companies, advertisers, and now even political campaigns are gaining a big advantage. The big difference now is instead of targeting demographics, we can target individuals. Andrew Brust is the Senior Director of Market Strategy and Intelligence at Datamir, a big data analytics platform that helps clients analyze and interpret large volumes of information. We can look for patterns, we can look for correlations, we can see that people that do X or like X or buy X tend to, you know, have a tendency towards Y. For years, broad information like age, gender, race, and income would form the basis of how individuals were profiled, demographic data. But now, thanks to the wealth of online information, companies and political campaigns are able to use a new method, psychographics. All that public online data, the things you search for, the singers you like on Facebook, even the church you attend, contributes to where you stand on what's known as the Ocean Framework. It stands for openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. And based on those dimensions, the big five, companies can form a remarkably accurate profile of what drives an individual's behavior. Clearly, demographics and geographics and economics will influence your worldview. But equally important, or probably more important, are psychographics. That is an understanding of your personality, because it's personality that drives behavior, and behavior that obviously influences how you vote. That's Alexander Nix, the CEO of a company called Cambridge Analytica, giving a lecture at the 2016 Concordia Summit. They're a London-based data analytics firm used by Donald Trump in the 2016 election. The firm is co-owned by GOP mega-donor Rebecca Mercer, shown here with top Trump advisors at the inauguration, including Steve Bannon, the president's chief strategist who sits on the company's board. By having hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Americans undertake this survey, we were able to form a model to predict the personality of every single adult in the United States of America. Nick says Cambridge possesses four to 5,000 data points on every single adult in America. That was a pretty broad statement uh, of Cambridge Analytica to say they had that volume of data and that, that kind of level of data on each adult individual in the United States. I, I don't know for a fact that they do or they don't. Still, Cambridge says from that trove of data, they're able to identify the most persuadable voters, send them targeted messages at key times in order to move them to action. But this type of targeting, while effective, can raise red flags if left unchecked. There are um, ways that this can be very creepy and very personalized. Justin Kapos is a professor at NYU's Tandon School of Engineering. If a campaign is going and gathering very targeted information about specific people and, you know, let's say that it finds out that you have had a child who was in the military and was killed in action um, and they, tar they custom target an ad to you to try to like really tug at your at your heartstrings and and use that as a as a mechanism you know to say oh you know this other candidate's a bad person or our candidate you know wouldn't have let something like this happen or whatever I think most people would find that to be very creepy. And while Cambridge's website touts themselves as having provided the Trump campaign with the expertise and intelligence that helped win the White House, that of the two candidates left left in this election, one of them is using these technologies. A recent investigation by BuzzFeed News citing interviews with 13 former employees says Cambridge's claim of propelling Trump to victory are, quote, snake oil. Cambridge Analytica declined to be interviewed on camera, but in a statement on that BuzzFeed News article, they told us, quote, Cambridge Analytica has always stated on the record that it did not have the opportunity to dive deeply into their psychographic offering because there wasn't enough time. But with more and more personal information constantly entering the public domain and companies that are better and smarter about tracking it, it may just be that in the next election, the candidates are going to know a lot more about you than you do about them. Joe Tuohy, Fox 5 News.